It appears I find myself now in a jungle. Well, that's better than the time I woke up in the nether. By this time, I'm used to these dreams. I wake up after a hundred days or death. I prefer a hundred days. But if I'm gonna make it that far, I've gotta get down from this giant tree. I can't live up here. Well, there goes half my day. I hope I don't have to eat these melons for too long. At least that's my food. Now I just need shelter. And, uh, looks like I'm gonna be living in a tree. Maybe not. This is a good find. Found a chest with mostly garbage, but a flint and steel. That'll be helpful. Looks like I won't be living in these trees. I'll be burning them. So I'm gonna get to clearing here. That is until my memory completely blacked out. I awoke to find the area clear and me no longer homeless. Yeah, I'm living underground, but at least I'm living. I can see a cave right by where I set up camp. I think I'm gonna go in it. I don't really need coal. There's so much wood I can use for fuel. And copper. <laughs> Copper? Who needs copper? I need iron, but it's being guarded by this skeleton. <laughs> oh, that one's in my side. <laughs> uh, whoa! Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Heal my wounds, pellets. Oh, that stings. <laughs> Defend yourself. Eh, not so tough when it's just you and me, huh? Yeah. Well, that nearly ended me, but at least I've got this nice little head covering. Good thing this was just a spider spawner. Pretty good loot, too. I was pretty sure sheep weren't in the jungle. It's a weird dream. I hear zombies. Like a lot of zombies, right under me. Yep, oh yeah, there's the spawner. Ooh, good stuff in here. Iron, bread, gunpowder, even an enchanted golden apple. I don't wanna push my luck anymore, I'm going back home. Really don't wanna get caught out here at night. I put this nice door in, hole sweet hole. All right, it's been three days, I haven't been killed so far. So good. I've already got a massive tummy ache from all these melons, and I'm out of them. So I think it's time to set up a farm. A melon farm. Ugh. Might as well use the daylight, and for some reason, all this paddling doesn't make me tired. Oh boy, more melons! And a skeleton spawner that can't even touch me with my shield. Chests were fine, I really don't care about the music discs, I'm on the verge of starvation. Yeah, I probably should have been harvesting seeds this whole time. It got a little dark on me here, that was risky. I haven't seen one creeper, but I know they're out there. Come on, chicken! Live with me in civilization. All right, come on, come on, hurry. My civilization's not far from the wilderness and you'll get clapped out there. Chicken two was much farther, but I'm a successful man and have a boat. Nice, some new organic grass-fed chickens. And my wheat farm's exploding thanks to all those skeletons I killed. Nine bread's not bad, but I don't think I can quite put the melons away just yet. The whole place is a bit chaotic, but it is the jungle. I'm doing my best. But I'd like to make it less jungle. Flat ground is just safer. Obviously, I haven't thought much about safety. There's a portal to the underworld on my land. So I spent some time, got rid of the canopy, cleared the ground. I'd like a wall, but there's no way I can build one with all this scrub. And I gotta stay in camp anyway for my chickens. I'm trying to get a perimeter going, an area where I can feel at ease. And I think I'm on my way. I think once I have some decent armor and food, sorry chickens, I'll go exploring some more. Hey, it might also be nice to not have a burning lawn. I can just see myself falling into that, and that would be tragic. I think I'm good with this amount of land. I can always cut down more trees, but I'm only in the jungle. There can't be that much. Cutting down all this jungle has given me enough wood for a wall. All right, technically it's a fence, but it'll keep the creepers out, which I still haven't seen. Built the fence, yeah, built the fence. I built my fence, it was common sense. I guess I didn't realize how much area I cleared. I thought this fence would be done in a day. The parts by the jungle are done. That's what worries me the most. The river does act as a natural barrier, though it's not perfectly safe. Gotta get some of these burned trees. They just look bad. Oh, yeah, see, that's why I'm building a wall. Fence. I'm not trusting the jungle. Outside my walls, it's dangerous. This is not a game. After some hard work, now the river's walled too. And now, as long as I'm in my fence, I'm safe. And in the jungle, that's valuable. Still, I wait on my chickens, so I guess I'll do some landscaping. I'd like to at least cover this nether stuff. It doesn't look good. I know I probably owe my life to this ruined portal, but still, I'm gonna cover it. I just keep having visions of myself falling in that lava and I don't want that to happen. If I die, who would eat the chickens? Day 10 is always a special day. I've been here now 10 days and I get to look at my land and see, what have I done? What have I done here in 10 days? Well, I'm at the point now where I'm chopping down floating trees for the sake of my land looking good, so that's a nice sign. I'll be honest, I'm still fairly weak. If I get caught in a bad situation, I'm definitely gonna get killed. I've also been completely on the surface. The deepest I've gone is in that cave, but I've only been mining 30 seconds and I already don't wanna do it anymore. So I'm not going to, regardless. For day 10, not bad. I wake up to the thunderous clucking of chickens, so I think I know what time it is. Thank you. And thank you. 
Thank you. Kinda thought I'd get more than 10 raw chicken, but anything beats melons. But with 18 bread, I think I'm on a new diet now, and I'm feeling good because of it. So I think I'm gonna delve down into more caves, looking for iron. That would be a huge upgrade. I got a few pieces, not much, mostly coal. I'm feeling adventurous, this time on the rivers. It's a very safe way to travel, because nothing can spawn on top of water. If I go into the tree line, I forfeit my life, but here on this boat, I'm feeling safe. I was kinda hoping to get lucky with some kinda jungle structure, but found nothing. Yeah, just trees and brush as far as the eye can see. And after two days of nothing, I really don't feel like adventuring anymore. I've decided I'm gonna stop living underground. This is a big step. I've got a lot of bamboo just sitting around, and I've never built a house out of this stuff, so I figured I'd try. To me, nothing says conquering the jungle like building a house out of it. Ooh, that two-tone tile. That's, that's crispy. It won't be that large, but I'm still mostly naked, so I'll take what I can get. And in one day, I've got four walls and windows. Real ones. No roof yet, though. I built it a little bit close to this bridge over the cave. It should be fine. My fence will hold, and I know I just got done saying that I have a lot of bamboo, but apparently not enough to build a house. So I'm gonna compromise and use a lot more jungle wood than I previously thought, because I essentially have unlimited jungle wood. I love a nice small house, you know, trying to fit everything in, make it all work. It's a challenge. I'm being very intentional about where I put everything to make this space work. One thing I really want to take advantage of, and this has nothing to do with safety, is the great view. The jungle's dangerous, but I love how it contrasts with my land. All right, I need bamboo, so I'm gonna farm this stuff the disgusting way. Just like you, chickens. Just like you. Okay, 59 chickens? Yeah, that's better. Ooh, yeah, I already regret this. I can't even walk around. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. I'd kind of like to be sleeping in a home by day 20. I wanted to get rid of a few trees near the house, just don't want anything jumping down on top of it. That would be bad. I still haven't seen a creeper. I've been real good about going to bed early. They're green. They blend into the jungle and one would definitely take me down. So I woke up day 18 to my monstrosity that is a bamboo farm next to my lava pit. I was trying to save the lava because it's somewhat valuable, but you know what? If I do this, I'm never gonna fall in it. You know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm breathing a little easier now with that lava gone. And my house now officially has a second floor. I wanted panoramic jungle views and I got them. I originally thought this would double as my bedroom, but I don't think I'm gonna go with that anymore. So I'm gonna put a nice tall roof in and sleep in the attic. Should be plenty of space up here. It's just me. And the voices? The structure's pretty much done. I think it turned out okay. It's a house, and I'm living large. I'm gonna get to sleep in it before day 20. The land is not done, no, I'll slowly upgrade it and myself for the next 80 days. Cause yeah, I have a home, but a skeleton would still kill me in three hits. Put some vines on the house today. I think I'm gonna regret that for sure. Day 21, my paranoia was telling me to burn down some more jungle. Here's my thinking. I'm safe in my wall. Yeah, but there's jungle right by my wall. That's gotta go. I have no more flint and steel, so I'm using lava. Super safe. Hey, a little crevice. Might as well go down. Plenty of daylight left. Instantly I found iron. That's great. I really haven't been touching a lot of this stuff. Saw my first creeper in this cave, so there's that. I'm not going anywhere where there's monsters. I'm getting the easy stuff first. Just grabbing easy stuff got me 19 iron. That's enough for some armor. I kept my little skeleton shawl, but now I'm fully kitted out. That lets me breathe a sigh of relief. It's also just gonna let me feel better about walking around in the jungle, especially during the daytime. You'll probably never catch me out here at night. I don't trust it. The jungle is not forgiving. I found a little cave with some archaeology inside. I'm gonna check this out. Too bad I don't know how archaeology works and destroyed everything. It's not my fault. I'm very poor and was dazzled by these glorious mud bricks. Oh, it's raining. That's not good. I gotta get home immediately. There's lots of dark spots in the jungle, which lets monsters hide, and when it rains, they can come out. Got home and placed down a lightning rod because my entire infrastructure is made out of wood. Then I counted my blessings. My house. My hole. My chickens? My lawn? Yeah. Myself? Yeah, myself. I'm gonna let you know, I have no shortage of meat. But still, I'd like to go grab some animals. I'm now surviving in the jungle, no problem. I've got unlimited food and shelter. So now I just want to get everything the jungle has to offer. Unfortunately, I came up short in my search for jungle cows. Ooh, that's awkward. My body cam was off day 24. Who knows what I could have done? A lot, actually. I found a jungle temple. You're just gonna have to believe me. The river is by far the safest place to travel. I never want to catch myself being on foot. The only real danger is getting lost, and with my markers, that's just not gonna happen. I put down a piece of wood and a torch that always points towards home. It's a great system. It's not a very direct way to travel, but this is the jungle. You gotta be careful. That gave me the idea for a map. Then I'll really never get lost. Problem is, this map is just not very big. I need way more sugarcane. Nah, give that some time. I'm looking for a sheep today. They're fairly easy to spot on the riverbed. Got them, those rare jungle sheep. I hope they like it here. Small problem. There's no more river. 
I've gone through all of it. Well, that just means it's time to build a river. Or canal. I can connect these two big rivers right here and that'll unlock so much new land for me. But it's dark, gotta go home. On my way to the job site, the next day I saw a panda. Oh, and he's a happy one. Nice. <laughs> Most of the time they're angry. All right, get in the boat. I didn't expect this to be an all day thing, but look at his stupid mischievous grin. He knows what he's doing. Got the panda back home by nighttime, but he's gonna have to stay out there a little bit. There's skeletons around. Getting him in the wall should not be this hard. It was just a struggle. I think he's too happy to listen. Walk, just walk, walk. He's in. I wanted to hit him so bad. Getting the panda in wrecked my boat dock, so the first thing I did was fix that. Now I'm digging out a hole for garbage. I'm getting to the point where I have too much stuff, which is always a good feeling. Done and panda proof. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to go out at night. I'd really like a bow, which means I have to either kill a skeleton or a few spiders. Oh, got one. Oh, this one just dropped arrows. Oh, well, I found enough spiders for four string. Hey, chickens, like my new bow? Let's play a game. It's called Dodge the Arrow. And good job. Back on the road, day 30. Uh, river. I'm still just trying to get lucky with easy loot on the riverbed. However, my river system's getting pretty long. By the time I got to the end, it was nighttime and I had to go home. I've got an idea for my problem that should work nicely. I'm gonna make a little camp in the far lands. Nothing too crazy. Put up some torches, a shack, just a nice place to rest my head when I'm exploring. I found this perfect little island. Should be very safe. And I had my little shack up by nighttime. I even did some subtle landscaping. This is a fairly new area for me, so I climbed up a tree and tried to get a good view. I did see a hill where I might get a better view. Yeah, pretty much just trees. It is the jungle. I can't really complain. It's a nice view though. Kind of makes me wish I did live in a tree. On my way down, I found some iron, so it wasn't a total loss. And after all that exploring, I got to lay my head down in my shack. Don't have to go all the way home. Bro, get out of my boat. Ugh, this neighborhood. My shack is right by where I'm gonna do a new canal to connect to more river. Not a very difficult process to build a canal. Really, the hardest part is clearing the way. A little fire makes that easy. One day, everything's cleared. Just gotta put in the new river. I've had this gold shovel for forever. Might as well use it. It'll get construction done faster. See, not that bad. Dig a hole, put it in some water. That's really all it is. Now I just gotta set up a toll booth. Then the real profits begin. I actually have to dig two canals today just to get home. Oh well, this one wasn't that bad. And I brought a jungle cow back with me. The cow will live between the chicken and the sheep, but that's gonna have me renovating the chicken pen. Time for a new gate, chickens. Don't leave if you know what's good for you. Back! Back, you animals! Well, at least I won't have to worry about food for a little longer. Cow went in just fine. Now I gotta go find another. They're fairly easy to spot from the river. It's not like cows actually belong here in the jungle. See, that didn't take long. Jungle cows, exotic. Let me ask you this question. Do cows live in the jungle? Nope. They live in the barn. In barns. How about sheep? Would sheep live in the jungle? No, they live in the barn. Yeah. How about pandas? Yeah, but they do. Pandas do. Good. Good. I'm gonna say it. I'm looking for diamonds. Yeah. No, I've reached that point. I'm still pretty fearful out there in the jungle. I feel like maybe if I had some diamond armor, enchanted, I might feel better. Really just trying to get lucky with some easy stuff from a jungle temple, but no luck today. See, this is why I wanted a bow. There's skeletons in my canal. Gotta love that nice, straight, cleared, perfect land in the jungle. I'm about a thousand blocks away from my main compound. On foot, that would be quite a journey, but on the river, well, it's easy. No temples yet. I'd like to not mine, but I probably will have to. Paddling around day 38, and I saw a clearing out in the horizon. Wait, horizon? I haven't seen the horizon in a month. At first I thought this was a giant lake, but no, it's a jungle ocean. Yeah, I know that's weird, but I don't really care. I'm gonna profit. There's so much loot out here. I'm 100% gonna get lost though. I can just feel it. Of course, I'll do my best to not get lost. And even if I do, I live near the center of the world, so it shouldn't be hard to find my way back home. I'm just finding so many of these nether portals and I'm hoping for some good stuff, but something's definitely wrong with this ocean. It shouldn't be here. Cause day 39 and 40, it all just crashed. Turning down the graph, Graphics seems to stop the crashing and lets me keep looting. I am, like I said, very lost though. I mean, I can get home. I know the general direction. I just have no idea where my canal is. I've got to go through jungle. It's not horrible in the daytime. Still makes me nervous. Found my canal, so now I can get home no problem. Well, just hoping I don't get struck by lightning. Oh, home sweet home. It's been a while. Gonna take some time, put some stuff for my adventures up, like my new bell. I got a bunch of clay on my journey, I've made some bricks, and now it's time to install a fireplace. Generally, I burn a large portion of my house down when I do this, so that would be great to avoid. All right, this looks stable. Ah, yeah, see, see, I'm burning my house down. I will make this work. Done, house isn't burning. We're good. 
for now. But now I've got a problem of where do I put the chimney? It's a weird problem, because you don't even technically need a chimney. Going with an artsy design here, because I care about aesthetics, uh, not because I'm low on bricks or anything. In the jungle, that there, that's a chimney. I'm also gonna set up a little more attractive farm. My first one was a little bit slapped together. Then I looked at my animals and realized I don't have pigs. I can find pigs, but I won't be able to breed them without carrots, and I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna get carrots in the jungle. Well, zombies drop carrots, and I've got a zombie spawner right nearby. Converting this to a proper zombie farm should not take long. It won't be super efficient, but it'll work. All I had to do was dig out underneath, put some water in, fairly simple. It was very important to me to clear a path to my zombie spawner. Really don't don't want to get killed while I'm just walking to a farm. I've survived here so well because I respect the jungle. And as soon as I stop respecting the jungle, I'm gonna die. And where you can't respect the jungle, just burn it. So here's my path. Not bad for a day with stone tools. I just realized it too. It's been 45 days and I still have a stone pickaxe. Here's the thing though. I've just been living in the jungle. I don't really need the good stuff. Stone? Stone is enough. Most of the time, I'm just chopping down trees, mining up cobblestone, and for that, stone tools feel just fine. Of course, some diamonds would make me faster, but for now, I'd rather have carrots. And with a functional zombie spawner, carrots should be on the way. My arm is already tired. I am sick of hitting these guys with a stone sword. So I installed a magma block that should do the work for me. I gotta just stand here, because I don't have enough iron for a hopper, but eventually, I should get that carrot. So that's what I did. I stood there and waited. A lot of suffering for a single vegetable, especially since I got nothing all of day 47. Dear diary, I've been sitting here for about two days now, still no carrot. I'm really not getting used to all of the zombie screams, and uh, they, they don't seem to be dropping anything, so uh, maybe I am doing this wrong, but I'm gonna let it go for another day. I love you, diary. Whatever, I'll figure it out later. That's all for pigs, which I don't even really need. Just chilling here, making the entrance look nice when I heard something in the brush. Pillagers! And they're totally stuck in the jungle. Yeah, right here, see this? This is why you shouldn't come to the jungle. I might knife ya. None of them had a pillager banner, which was kinda weird. I was hoping to put that up in my house. Oh well, got a sick crossbow. Day 50, halfway through. Always a nice milestone. Great to check myself and see how I'm doing. Sure, I've still got stone tools, but I'm well fed and I'm safe, which for the jungle is all a man can ask for. However, like most men that have everything they need, I'm still not happy. Said a hundred times, I don't need diamonds. Doesn't mean I don't want them. No diamonds, but a lot of iron. 5x to my entire stock. It was all in a chasm, so there was plenty of daylight, made the whole process pretty easy. I may have stayed a little bit too long, but there was iron, come on. Figured I'd just pop a golden apple on the way home, I'll be all right. Yep, no problem. I didn't think I'd be sad to see my little chain shawl go, but I am. I've had this thing for forever. It was about to break, and iron is just more responsible. Full belly, full iron tools, I'm feeling good. I had enough iron to splurge on a hopper system in my zombie farm, that carrot's mine. But I wanted to see if I could farm up zombie stuff all the way from my camp. So I'm gonna wait for it in my house. So after a whole day of listening to self-doubt inside my own head, it's time to check my zombie farm. And there's nothing. Hmm. So if I don't hit them, they don't drop anything. I'm just learning this right now. So I changed up the spawner and now I hit them. Would've liked those couple of days back, they're valuable. After a lot of zombie suffering, day 54, I got the carrot. You might think it was a diamond I was so happy. So now it's farm time, this shouldn't take long. I got a lot of bone meal, killing skeletons never gets old. I got a big stock of carrots and set my farm up. I'll have them forever now. I've seen this pig living his happy life in the jungle for months now. That angered me. Welcome home. Of course, day 55, I'll be looking for another pig. That's what I do out here. I live my life. To me, a pig is happiness. I don't need anything else. Too bad I didn't find one. I shouldn't be able to find a pig. I don't know why they live out here, but if they do, I'm gonna grab one. There he is. I grabbed him. Gently. Here is your wife. I do not care if you don't like her. Nice. Happy pig family. That'll make a good Christmas dinner. Well, that's all the animals that shouldn't even be in the jungle in the first place. And now I'm wondering what next. I could call the chickens. I don't really need to. But I could. Remember that, chickens. No, I think I'm gonna dabble in some archaeology. I've seen a couple of different sites on my river track, and I'm gonna check them out. They look like this. There's a lot of them. And you know, maybe they've got some good loot. I use this brush to unearth objects. This time, I got a red candle. All right, that was pretty lame. Let's see what I get this time. Looks like a broken piece of pottery. Ah, another broken pot down here. Great. I guess there was some terracotta, but not enough to really do anything, you know? Ah! 
Nice! Yeah, some orange dye, one piece of it. That's, that's useful. Oh, a single piece of wheat, wow. All right, that was pretty much just a waste of a day, but I'm gonna keep at it. There's probably some good stuff out there. I was able to find that one archeology span site that I completely ravaged earlier, and good news is not everything was gone. I got an armor trim here, that's not bad. Can't really use it though. I'm not gonna trim my iron armor, it's just gonna break. I cleaned this site out pretty good. A lot of junk, some terracotta, that was about it. I'm pretty poor, right? But even for me, archeology span just ain't worth it. I really don't know why I keep doing these things. I'm just gonna be disappointed. Yep, the only thing I looted all day was sadness. I will say, I am inspired and do have an idea now. But it's far away, so I'm gonna have to sleep in one of my shacks for now. To anyone watching this, this probably just looks like any other random piece of jungle, but to me, this is a specific area I need to be in. I know this jungle. I've lived in it for two months. You remember that giant jungle ocean? Well, I'm one canal away from connecting myself to it. So obviously, I'm doing some construction. I'd like to build a canal and a shack so I can much more easily explore this ocean. And I I was not fancy. This is a certified shack. Canal's done, didn't take too long, I'm good at it. And the burning helps. So now it's on to the ocean for more archeology. span Ugh. I'm really just wondering if there's anything out here worth finding other than archeology span and nether portals. Maybe I'll stumble upon something great. Probably just more jungle though. Regardless, I sail into nothingness, hoping to get lucky. Oh, yes. More orange dye. That's just what I wanted. I don't want diamonds. I'm here for orange dye. I'll say these nether portals are almost always worth it. I'm at least gonna get some gold. Might get lucky in the chest. Good finds. They're also fairly bright. Light my way back home. That's convenient. Oh, another beautiful day. Waking up in the shack. Let's get on that ocean. Do you know why I'm doing this? Like, do you, do you really know why I'm doing this? Because I'm not doing it for archeology. span I'm not doing it for the nether portal. I'm really doing this because I don't want to mine Yep, I've said it. It's Minecraft. It's in the name. And I don't want to do it. Is that a me problem? Is that a Minecraft problem? I don't really know. All I do know is archaeology is not the fix. Sorry. Sorry, just me out here alone with my thoughts in the jungle ocean. Can you blame me? All right, it's time to be fair. I would like to state for the record, I finally found something decent with this archeology. span I've done about a dozen of these now and have gotten absolutely nothing, but right here, I got my first emerald. Can't really do much with it besides look at it in the jungle, but still, I got one. I need to mine but I'm not going to. More of the same, day 66, just floating around looking for any petty loot I can find. It's not a real ocean, so it's very, very empty. So there's a lot of floating around. I'd like you to know that despite finding about a thousand nether portals in this video, I won't be going there. It's not the jungle. In caves I went, that's fair. In badlands I went, that was a bit of a stretch. I just can't swing it in the jungle. I think I'm just about done with this jungle ocean. It's time to go home. Now, uh, which way is home? I was pretty sure I set up infrastructure for this, but it looks like I'm traveling 2,000 blocks through dense jungle. And on day 69, man, this is not how I wanted to be spending this. With clear weather in the daytime, you really shouldn't even be afraid of the jungle. It's basically just a dense forest. But I'm hustling, because I know at night, it gets bad. Whew, found my canal. I'm as good as home. Surprisingly, I have daylight left. I can enjoy day 69. Guess I should find a spot for all these valuable archaeology candles. I've also got way too much gold. Let's see if I can make something out of it. Ah! That may be a bit too much next to my bamboo house. You know what? Whatever. Until I need this gold, it stays. I put some other memorabilia up. My shawl, my crossbow. They look nice. After all of that, I figured it was actually time to go mining. I need some diamonds. And then I found a brown panda. Well, thanks, universe. I didn't want to go mining anyway. This is a great distraction. Should go get a snack or something. It's going to take a while. She doesn't walk very fast. Got home and tried to make my own brown panda. Oh. Oh no. The parents did not care that I did this. So I got a brown panda and that had me thinking, why don't I have an ocelot yet? I should be mining, but instead I'm gonna go find a kitty cat in the jungle. Look at this, look at this. I'm paddling and one spawned right in front of me. I have no idea how I get this lucky. Hey, anything to avoid mining. Left the cat in the boat cause I wanna go check out this hole here. A lot of times they have good stuff. It's obviously too shallow for diamonds, but I've been living in the iron age for a while and haven't had any complaints. Turned out to be a smaller cave than I thought. Day 73, I went over to the spider spawner I found on like day two, I need some string. Made a fishing rod and was gonna grab some fish for my 
new cat when I noticed some pillagers. This time one had a banner, that's nice, at least I'll get a trophy. Not really sure where I'm gonna put it, my house is getting full of useless stuff I found in the jungle. Whatever that works. Anyway, back to fishing, these last few days have just been so distracted. I wanted my ocelot to trust me, and he won't without fish. Turned my back for one second, and now he's eating all my chicken. Well, that's completely my fault for not baby proofing. It's safe to say the ocelot likes his new home. I'd like to find one more, but I really doubt I'm gonna get as lucky as that first one. And then, during my journey, I stumbled upon that old crevice I found. Last time I was here, I got in and got out, but this time I think I'm gonna do some serious mining. And step one was make a little safe area. The last thing I wanna do is go all the way back home through the jungle at night. And once that was set up, I got to mining. Really should have done this on like day five. When it got dark, I just went back to my safe zone, a strategy I will definitely use in the future. I found a mine shaft. Nice, these generally have some good stuff. No diamonds, but a name tag. That could be helpful for a number of things. I've been very productive all day. I've got so much iron, but I really could use some diamonds. I worked all day trying to find diamonds, and in my haste, in the dark, I didn't see that there was no floor here. And in this moment, I was completely at the will of gravity. Thankfully, Gravity was kind. You can see the absolute panic in the way that I make a little cobblestone box around myself. I stayed in there for a while, thinking about how bad that could have been. Caving is a little more fun than normal mining like this, but you know what? There's nothing that beats normal mining, so it's time for some normal mining. Hey, there's a big deep cave. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I really took my time getting down here. I've already had a near-death experience and would like to avoid another. But there it is, after 77 days, my first diamond. I quickly got more. This is a giant cave. By the time I left, I had 17. Now that I have diamonds, I need an enchanting room and I figured the best spot for it would be under the house. It's a tight area, but I'll make it work. I wanted stairs, but I think I'm gonna have to use a ladder. Yeah, it's a little less premium, but I am only in the jungle. Gotta give myself some credit. So now the enchanting room's roughed out, I just need some books. Good news is, leather I have no shortage of. I'm actually a bit short on sugarcane. I don't know if I've ever had that happen to me, but I am. So I went out looking for more day 80. I've got these diamond tools, but they're not enchanted. Gross. Ugh, <sighs> waiting for crops to grow is so much worse than mining. So I mined a little, took up that obsidian. Two days are missing, sugarcane's still growing. Then I got bored and renoed my house a bit. Just like that, got a sitting room. Still no sugarcane. Any day now, I'll landscape. Got a balcony installed, day 88, looks over the jungle. This I really like. Huh. <sighs> Fishing. Really just doing anything I can think of right by the sugar cane so it'll grow. Horus! No, Horus! Why can't you be like Helga? You know what's awkward? I totally forgot about Lapis Lazuli. Hey, a diamond. Don't even need it. That stuff's pretty rare, but you only gotta find a few veins and you're good. I've been in this cave too long. I'm fighting off spiders on the slim chance there might be more diamonds. Yeah, I'm going home. Hopefully I pop out somewhere on my canals. Ah, nice. It's daytime. That's a relief. Oh, yeah, I know exactly where I am. I know you probably don't but I've been living out here for 91 days. This is my jungle. See, already almost home. There's a lot of cool enchantments, fortune and sharpness, but I think in the jungle, what I really want is Feather Falling 4, and I just got it. With Feather Falling, I'll feel better about starting on my next wonder of this world, a tree. An absolutely massive tree. Why is a very good question here, and the biggest reason is I just like a very noticeable landmark. The jungle's full of trees, right? As far as the eye can see. Well, I want one that stands out. I've only been at this a little bit, and it already does. Though it's definitely getting to the point where even with Feather Falling 4, I'm gonna die if I fall off, so it's time for some safety features. All I need is a thin layer of water at the bottom, and somehow that'll save me. This would have been done yesterday if it wasn't for all the cutting. I'd like a nice, long, straight shaft. <laughs> the view's already pretty helpful. I had no idea there was a bunch of lava over there. And getting up and down should be easy with the vines. It's been something living in the jungle. Can't believe I survived in all that. And being as high as the clouds looking down just makes me think about it all. While constructing with my keen jungle eyes, I saw a temple. It was right nearby this whole time. That had me feeling great about the tree. It's already coming in handy. I'm up bright and early, day 97. Gonna find that temple. It might be a little bit harder from the ground. Look at that. I know my jungle. In the spirit of the jungle, I'm gonna try to clear this thing the legit way. So I'm gonna flick all these levers and uh, maybe something will happen. I can kind of hear stuff working behind the wall but I'm not sure if it's doing anything. Well, that was fun. Time to dig right through it like everything else. I'm not taking any chances. I've made it 97 days. I'm making it to 100. Well, that was fun. I'm glad I actually recorded it this time. All right, let's see if I can see my tree when I walk outside. That'll be awesome. Hmm, don't see it. Don't see, oh, there it is. I mean, I guess I could use coordinates, but this is way more fun. Put some trims on, just wild. It's all I really have access to. And now I'm upset that I don't have diamond pants. Why'd you do this, chickens? So I went and mined a few diamonds, you know, normal day. I like wild as a trim. I know for the jungle, it's really all I can use. 
I like the helmet. That would look good in netherite. The rest of the armor, though, is pretty uninspired. Anyway, shot some zombies from the balcony before going to bed. Day 99, my last chance to build something before this whole dream is over. I'm building a rail through the jungle. It's not safe. I wouldn't recommend it. But even if I die today, I'll still put out the video. It's a monument to my survival out here. When I first started, I was scared to even go through the jungle. Now I'm gonna build a rail through it. I've come a long way surviving only in the jungle. I'm proud of myself. I really don't think there could be a better way to end this adventure than a rail ride through the jungle. This, this right here is what hardcore Minecraft is really all about. Yes, survival, but eventually, you get so good at surviving, you build something dumb. Here's the dumb thing. I've done it. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That really helps. Let me know in a comment what biome you'd like to see me live in next. I'll do my best to get them all. Thank you all for watching. Please stay notable. I'll see you in the next video.